Welcome back, Selene, to a brand new episode of SHS Today. First, we go take a peek at Dennis's music place, learn about some new tips and tricks in maneuvering the halls of Selene High, and introduce a new segment, Mystery Meals. All this and more on SHS Today. How's it going, Celine? Welcome back from winter break. As always, I'm Nick Long. And I'm Darren Faircloth. Let's get started. There's a new business in Celine called Dennis's Music. They have a large variety of instruments for sale. For more insight on the store, we'll go to Will Fawcett for those who are wanting to start their musical journey. Dennis's Music Store just moved to Celine earlier this year. We take you inside this new rockin' shop. I'm Dennis from Dennis's Music. Uh, we've been around since 2005 as a store. We try to support a lot of the local bands, which we have through the years, a lot of shows. And basically, it's a family-oriented store. Seems to be going pretty well. We just moved to Saline about seven months ago. We're pretty happy here. The community has welcomed us. It's been a really good open mat. Sean, a guitar lover and Dennis's business partner, was with the store since its original opening in Ypsilanti. I remember sitting down with him and kind of going over, because I was in music retail at the time, uh, going over some ideas of some other items he wanted to carry that you know were away from drums, because drums were his primary. Dennis and Sean give some advice to the upcoming musicians in Celine. Probably the one thing is, is it's an overload, and I think sometimes the kids today just need to set down and go back to the old way of maybe just practicing, hanging out with your friends and enjoying it more. I, but I definitely, you know, don't let any kind of fear or doubt stop you if that's all that's stopping you. Make sure to stop by and say hi to Dennis. For SHS Today, I'm Will Fawcett. Back to you in the studio. Dennis's music is located on 435 East Michigan Ave if you're interested in snagging your own instrument. The Celine Fiddlers recently announced that they will be playing music with Ricky Skaggs, a 15-time Grammy Award winner at the Michigan Theater in Ann Arbor on May 25th, 2019. He'll be joined with a few special guests. Tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster.com. Most tickets are $45 to $65, but there is a limited number of gold tickets that will be available for $150. Get yours now. If you've been going to Celine for a while, you've probably noticed that even simple tasks like walking in the hallway gets a little hectic over time. So let's give the mic to Zach Plisco so you can get some tips that help you get through the day. What is going on, Celine? I'm sad to say this, but we got a little problem here at SHS. That's walking in the halls. We're going to go talk with some experts to hear more and hear some tips. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I think when you have a school that's this size and that there are so many people going so many different ways, um, it's really important to make sure that you are being conscious of your behavior in the hallways. Like, you should always walk on the right hand side of the hallway. And that's the same thing going down the stairs too. We've got the divider in the middle of the stairs, so walking on the right hand side going up and the right hand side going down and it just creates a nicer flow. With all the traffic in the halls, we hear about some pet peeves that Mrs. Steger has. I think when people just stop, and that's in general, it's not even just in the hallways, but at the mall or at the, <laughs> the grocery store, anywhere. When people just stop in the middle of the hallway and start having a conversation and then you have to try to get around other people, that's really difficult. And we have a lot of people who, are, who have mobility issues, and so that creates an even bigger problem because you can't always see over the crowd and you just all of a sudden are stuck. Um, it's really important to not be texting while you're talking or while you're walking. Um, so that you can pay attention to where you're going, you're not running into people. Well, there you have it, Celine. There's some hallway etiquette tips for you. Hopefully you put them to good use to manage some of the traffic here that we have in the halls. Anyways, I'm Zach Plisco, back to you in the studio. Now that everyone knows how to properly walk in the hallway, I'm curious to see how getting to class will look. On December 14th, students from Mr. O'Brien's U.S. sister class were in the large Hornet Hub to present a museum about World War II. Students around the school came to visit to see all the interesting exhibits, hard work the class put into their projects. Man, all this talking has made me hungry. Let's check, on, let's check in on Luke Atzinger for some mystery meals. We ordered fries from three different fast food restaurants to see how similar the food is. We also had a few students help us out. 
This is Celine Eats. So the McDonald's fry was very hard and cold and crispy, and it didn't have much fryness to it, like the potato part. The McDonald's fry is like a generic French fry, it's just like skinnier. The Wendy's fry is a lot similar to the McDonald's fry. I thought it had a little more texture than the Wendy's fry. Wendy's French fry is obviously Wendy's, I could tell because of the potato. It's more or less like has the skin on it. Um, I think that I'd say the one that really messed me up was definitely the KFC one. KFC fry is completely different than the other ones. It uh, had a lot of texture, it was really crunchy. It had a lot of spices and it was a lot larger. It's kind of like a bigger French fry, more like a, like a steak fry. I would not be in on the debate that all fast food fries are the same. When it comes to like the difference between KFC and McDonald's and Wendy's, there's a big difference. Each fast food place had a different like size and shape of fry and like the textures and the crispiness or like softness of a fry and the seasonings are were all different at every fast right, food place. I think it's Burger King. All right, thanks guys for coming on. Back to you in the studio. In my opinion, I'd go for the McDonald's fries. Thanks for the story, Luke. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Nick Long. And I'm Darren Faircloth. Tune in next week to meet an important Selene administrator, learn how the school store is operated, and check out our new segment, Common Sense. Have, have a, a great, great week, Hornets. Hornets.